Okay. Looks like we're getting started. Hello. Thank you for joining me today for Unboxing with Erin. I'm so excited for our next installment of Unboxing. It, I'm, you're going to love what's in this box. Uh, as we begin, I'd like to acknowledge that we are on the unceded territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh Nations. Uh, I'm here in our reuse center, as always, down in Chinatown, and uh, I'm really excited to we have a, a big announcement. Uh, we have our reuse center going to be opening up for uh, in-person appointments. I am so excited for this, so I can see your beautiful eyes all again. Uh, we're going to be opening next week, uh, starting on June the 9th. Um, we're going to do it by appointment only from Wednesday to Friday. So our appointments start at 11 and we'll finish at 5 p.m. I am so excited to see you. Make sure you make an appointment to come in and we can chat in person about fabric. I'm really excited. This pattern's in here. So many prints, you're all gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Are we good? We're good? Okay, we're good. <laughs> uh, also, here we can talk about um, donations. Um, right now, you can donate any materials that you're wanting to give forward, anything that you aren't going to use in your studio, things that you may have a little bit too much of, things like that. You want to pay it forward for someone else to be able to use it and make it into something gorgeous. Uh, please let us know and you can go to our website fabcycle.shop and let us know if there's anything you'd like to pay it forward. Awesome. Okay. We're good. We're going to keep going. Let's dig into the box. First thing that there's two of, I love it. A little damask on a chiffon. It's a heavier weight kind of like crepe chiffon. That's really quite beautiful. It is a bit sheer in this black and white. So pretty. These are great for um, if you want to make shears because it has a, uh, a specialized border print on it. Um, it's great for if you want to do a skirt out of that and have the border as something a little bit different. So nice. Quite a bit of that too. That's really lovely. Black and white to start us off. Ooh, another two bundler. Feels like wool, might be acrylic. This is really beautiful. This is woven in uh, as the print rather than printed on top. It's woven in the two different colors of a navy and green. How gorgeous is that? This would be really great for. Um, if you're wanting to do that like sweater style jacket for the fall. Does anybody else do fall sewing in the summer? Because I definitely do. That way it's ready for when I need it. Nice big bundles here. Beautiful. Gold. Match my outfit today with the yellow and green. I did make my dress that you're all seeing today. I haven't worn something I've made in a while. Of course, pockets. Love this little cotton rayon. We've got some gold. This feels like it actually might be cotton versus polyester. Let's see, what does it say? Yeah, cotton blend. Little shiny, shiny moment. So pretty. Anybody else decorate with gold in their home? 
I do. A little bit of gold. And some print. Lots of print. This is lovely. Look at that. An enlarged, abstract, kind of paisley with the gray background. So nice. That'd be a really cute blouse fit the patterning, like where it goes a little darker in this, in certain spots. Really nice. This would be something I would do, cut it on the bias. And it's not sheer, so it would be really quite lovely for a blouse. So the bias of it gives it a bit of stretch, a little bit of give. So nice. Lots of that. What else? Hmm, this has a grid kind of structure in the weave that gives it a bit of a different shininess. And then the print inside of that is like a an abstract floral rose color. Is that the right side? This is the right side. Wow, on camera that definitely reminds me of grandma's couch <laughs> you know those couches that were kind of like velvety and they had that floral print all over it those colors remind me of that for sure that could be so fun to play with this would be a really cool lining actually if you're wanting to put some funky lining inside of a jacket or a dress everybody always loves a funky lining so good. A little bit of burgundy and copper. This one's a polyester for sure. So pretty. I love the drape on this one. It's got a nice weight to it. This would be a great skirt. Take a whole piece and just do elastic waistband in the top and hem the bottom and you're good to go. Those easy sewing projects that get you through the summer. The print almost looks like it's lace floral on top of a polka dot too. It's really interesting. So pretty. Hmm. Two of the same. Some really cool, like, pixelated striping. Blue, green, gray, a little bit of yellow. That's really cool. This would be actually a really great men's shirt. It's drapier, so it could be very relaxing for the summer to have that drapier shirt. So pretty. I love that blue-green mix. Matches your eyes. <laughs> if you should have blue eyes. I feel something almost suede. Definitely faux kind of feeling. And it's got a little border that is meant to be fringe. That is cool. Okay, so this stuff, you take the, uh, the salvage on this side and you uh, can actually like uh, tear it away and it creates a fringe on the bottom for you. Some of these have already like come come away from the, the salvage but that is so cool.
there's that new um, show out uh, about Halston, the um, designer from the States, and uh, he created that like faux suede dress in the 70s, and this just, that reminds me of that a little bit. That's so cool. There's enough of this definitely for a dress. Who's making a suede dress? <laughs> Was there someone asking about my dress? Is that no? Okay. <laughs> Irina just said, talk about your dress. <laughs> this is um, a pattern from my mom from the 80s, and uh, she's passed it along to me, and so I decided to recreate it in a very different material than, than she did, so I've done it in more of a summer version, and I did a little extra ruffle for the waist, and we're belted here today, and the back has a, a razor back on it, coarse pockets, pockets and everything. Super fun for the summer. I think I am still going to alter it a bit. Um, I'm going to add a ruffle to the bottom hem uh, and make it floor length because it's kind of awkward right now from that like longer 80s midi length. And uh, yeah, otherwise, I'm loving it. This rayon is so, so soft. I love it. Okay, more gold. With a little bell-shaped flower border. How cute is that? In a silver. There's quite a bit of this. How wide is it? Just over a meter, it looks like, for width. And you've got the border on both sides. So lots of room to play with for different types of garments on this one. So pretty. It's almost like a textured... Um, like a raised print from from the inside even jacquard so it's got that texture of gold and silver very pretty there's lots of that too so pretty oh by the way if you're loving these fabrics as much as I am today Make sure you uh, head over to our website for 1 p.m. because they'll all be available in our unboxing collection on our website. Uh, it's no longer a secret link as it has been in the past. And uh, you can check it out at 1 p.m. They'll all be available. A little bit of gray. This print is cool. It may not look like it's printed, but it is. This has like a little tri diagonal triangle, like tiny, tiny triangles. So it looks like a solid color from afar, but when you're up close, it's like a, a textured weave of the print. That is really cool. Fabulous trousers for the summer. It's a hint sheer up to the light, so I might put like a little shorts lining in it. But these would be this would be fabulous for the summertime shorts. Capris, pants, love it. What do we call it? Blue steel. Oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a Zoolander name? One of his looks that he does is Blue Seal, I think. <laughs> Always with movie trivia with me. I'm such a movie trivia person. Okay. So cute, they're little bows. Little bows made out of dots. That is so cute. Crepe chiffon, polyester, such a great color, that burgundy, be such a great little blouse, 
Do you like the peasant style blouse with like elastic around the, the neckline and on the sleeve? You can wear it like pulled off of your shoulder or on top. There you go. So pretty. See, I told you there'd be lots of prints in this one. So cool. What is this print? What is this? It's all over the place. It's like a washed out large floral paisley kind of idea. Like, you know, those like black and white images that are like kind of fuzzy on the edges. That's kind of giving me those vibes for this print. And it's not exactly black. It's kind of like a really dark olive color. I hope that reads on camera. This is really cool. It's a very intricate pattern. So what I love about some prints is that from far away, they look completely different than when you're up close to them. Gives the outfits such interest. A tip for working with like these slinkier fabrics definitely is I like to use a little bit of paper um, going through my sewing machine on the top and bottom to make sure that the thread tension doesn't pull on anything and it keeps a really nice smooth seam uh, rather than it um, sometimes can buckle if it's too light of a material going through your sewing machine. So just a little tip there. And then too, because of the needle going up and down, it perforates the paper so you can just rip it off afterwards. Oh, this is gorgeous. Little, little paisley floral pieces with little crescents of a fern leaf. How cute is that? Black background. 100% polyester, and the print is called Pamela. I love it. Summertime blouse, summertime dress. There's lots here, so you could definitely do a dress out of that. <laughs> called Midnight Snack. <laughs> I love it. I feel like we might have had this in an unboxing before. This feels very familiar. We'll have to go back and do some research in our previous unboxing, see if we've done this one before, because this is gorgeous. Little beige background, high pigmentation print in the red. I love that. It's definitely sheer, so you could do this as um, some really cool curtains. Just some shears on the kitchen window, perhaps. They look like uh, different types of like peony or roses for the, the floral there. So pretty. There's lots of it. Yeah, definitely a bit sheer. You can see my hands through it. So pretty. This is my lips. So many prints. I love this. This feels like a, a nylon mesh. Very stretchy. This would be a really good overlay uh, over top of a, a jersey knit or something. Is this the right side? No, this is the right side. There we go. For these ones, to tell the right side of the fabric, generally, this type of material, this 
this pattern is printed on top of it. Um, so one side is not as um, opaque as the other when it comes to color or intense in hue. Look at how much pattern there is on that. All the different prints, all on one <laughs> material. I love it. So much of it. What would you make out of this one? I know it would probably look really good with jeans. Paired together with denim. Grab the faux suede and make a little jacket. Outfit, boom. <laughs> Oh, I love this color combination. Large paisley. Blue and beige and kind of like an orange tan color. This is so pretty. So slinky. Again, that sheer kind of nylon mesh. So pretty. <laughs> Cottage elegance. I love it. Mm, tiny floral. Going from the big print to the little print. A little bit of floral. Blue, pink, light blue. Does anybody else wear caftans around the house in the summer? Because I do. I've got three that I've made for myself out of this kind of material. Or like a little tank top and shorts underneath for the summer. It's a great little like uh, sunscreen for if you're going to go outside for a little while and you don't want to put on actual sunscreen. This is a nice little light layer that you can add on top of your outfit. So pretty. It's so soft. So soft. As you can see, I just want to touch all of it. <laughs> Everything has a print. I love it. A little bit of pink and green, that peach color, a little bit of floral stripes. Again, that same nylon mesh. If you're loving these fabrics, remember we're live at 1 o'clock for the collection being available. And sign up for our newsletters. They go out every week. And uh, you'll get a little, uh, a little heads up on what's coming out over the weekend. And you can uh, purchase right away. It's great. A little bit of brown floral. Again, this is like a mesh, but it's not as sheer. It's a tighter, tighter knit mesh. Definitely this would be more of a, a drapery kind of fabric. That vintage feel of color, that sepia, sepia tone, floral. It feels almost like a raised, there's like a raised, the brown parts are like a raised print. <laughs> so I would also like to thank you for participating in our fab social challenge for May. Um, it was so much fun seeing all of your entries. Uh, I wanted to let you know about what's happening for uh, June's social challenge. Um, our theme is going to be patchwork, which is so fun to see all the different things you're going to put patchwork on. It's going to start on June 7th, so next week. And just for participating and, and submitting uh, what you've made, 
uh, you get a 15% discount off an online order. And we're going to have four winners at the end of the month on June 28th is the final day. Um, and they will each receive a mystery pack, uh, which is a $50 value. Uh, we're done on June 28th at 12 p.m. So it starts the first Monday and ends the last Monday. I love I can't wait to see what you're all going to make. A little bit of gingham and chiffon. So fun. I have so many left in the box, but what I would like to get to and show you a little bit of is something that dropped this past weekend. Um, we called it our purse pack collection. And we had a bunch of these uh, frames for clutches. Um, and you can, they're open there you go and you can make your own clutch which is really great to use um, uh, upholstery fabric you can use scraps that you have around the house uh, recycle things into being it's got little hooks here for a chain um, different ones will come with the shell on the outside so this one has the two outside pieces so um, our website on the collection, we do have video of how to, how to make your clutches and put all these pieces together. Um, so even if you don't know how to do it right now, our website has some great resources to be able to show you how to, to put them together. But essentially this becomes the, the outside and you put fabric in between and you can use lining on the inside. Um, we have chain, we have the, um, the little clasps here, I'm going to open up here. They have the little clasps for attaching the chain to the edge here so that you can wear it around your shoulder or carry it in your arm. And we have a whole bunch of different types. Um, this one's really cool, if I can get to it in here. <laughs> we have them packaged up really well. <laughs> This one's so cute. It's like a little uh, coin purse clutch one, and it just snaps open, pushes open. It's really cool. This one looks like it's, uh, our coin purse ones are a brass plating on it. And this one, you just feed the fabric in and push it together. And there's a video of how to do that on our, on our website there. But there's quite a few of them. Uh, we have a couple different handles for our purses as well. These ones are our uh, faux bamboo, uh, and they're bent, and you can, there's even video for those ones. We've got oval-shaped ones as well. There's some really great purse packs, so please do visit our purse pack collection. Uh, check it out and see if you want to make a matching purse for your summertime outfits. Um, Remember that uh, we are going to be open for in-person as of next week. You need to make an appointment to come in. We're going to be only open for in-person from Wednesday to Friday, 11 to 5. And if you have any questions about making an appointment or feel like you want to take longer than one appointment session is booked for, you can book two in a row if it's available. Um, please let us know if you have any questions about that. We are more than happy to uh, let you know about how to come in in person. Uh, definitely check out what's going out on our social media tomorrow. You, you're really going to love what we have coming out. I'm not going to say too much about it, but just check it all out tomorrow. And um, again, sign up for our newsletter. Secret link is live as of two minutes from now. So you can, one minute, <laughs> one minute from now. Uh, I'm so happy that you were able to join me today. It is so fun going through fabrics with you. And our next unboxing is going to be on June 15th. And uh, thank you for starting June out with me with all these fabulous prints. We'll have a great two weeks. We'll see you on June 15th. Mwah.